I want to start this segment discussing second year outside linebacker Harold Landry. Last two games, three sacks. In the last game, he had a sack and, and seven tackles. He has four sacks on the year, only had four and a half all of last year. Has he developed in his second year the way you had hoped? Well, I think he's really taken ownership in, in the position. He had a great offseason. He spent a lot of time in here getting stronger, working on his speed, his quickness, his, his get off. He's got really good length for, for that outside linebacker position, and, and he's coming into his own with this craftiness and how to win. Speaking of great pass rushers, you're going to see one in Denver in Von Miller. Nine years in the league, seven Pro Bowls, over 100 sacks. What is it about Von Miller that makes him such a special player in the National Football League? Yeah, there's a reason he was the second overall pick in the draft back in, in 2011. He, he's got excellent first step quickness. He's seen about everything you know out there that those tackles can, can throw at him. He really still has the ability to corner and, and win with speed. And he, he's got an arsenal of uh, pass rush moves to beat you with. Denver's head coach is Vic Fangio. He made his bones in this league as a defensive coordinator. What does a Vic Fangio defense look like in Denver right now? Well, when I, when I watch him, there's a lot of movement up front with that front seven. You know, whether it's games, it's twists, it's loops, and there's speed. There's speed at all three levels of the defense, whether it's a secondary, you know, the linebacker level and, and up front. They're, they play fast and, and they play very, very disciplined. Denver has a one-two punch at running back that's outstanding. Philip Lindsay and Royce Freeman. What's the challenge of trying to slow down the two Denver backs? Yeah, they're both really good. Different style guys. Lindsay's a little smaller in stature, but he, he's quick, he's fast, he can jump cut, he can spin on you, he can bounce it to the outside. Freeman's a, a little bit bigger back, he's patient. Both guys have very, very good vision. They do a good job of kind of siphoning through the blocking scheme and running the daylight. All right, talk to me about Joe Flacco. It's, it's unusual to see him go from purple in Baltimore to orange and blue in Denver. What are the Broncos asking the veteran quarterback to do? Stand back there and deliver to the weapons uh, that they've got there on, on offense, you know, pass catcher wise. You know, Cortland Sutton at outside receiver, Noah Fant, the first round tight end from Iowa, and then Sanders. All those guys, they're different stylistically, but they all have speed. They all have you know size or route running ability in Sanders' case. And Joe does, has done a good job of standing back there, surveying the defense and delivering the ball. All right, John, how did the Tennessee Titans go to Denver and get a win on Sunday? I think it starts with winning the line of scrimmage. You know, we, we've got to win up front. Offensively, we've got to get on these guys. We, we got to create movement. We've got to create run lanes for the backs. We've got to protect these guys when they start their twists and their movements. And so the quarterback can step up and throw the football. And it's the same thing on the defensive side. We've got to get pressure on Flacco on passing downs. But that starts with holding the line of scrimmage, getting off blocks, and tackling these two backs.